everybody, we lost on our last one. Womp womp. But we did do a pretty good job regardless. Um, I felt. Not Umbra melting. That's all I ask. Not Umbra melting. One of the two, sure. Hellhorn melting? I can live with that. I mean, we're starting with two molded, which is incredible. You're sapping me? It really seems like the boss comes in bulk, right? Don't take that out of context, please. It's like we get sap, 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 consume, 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 debuff, debuff, debuff. You get the idea. Um, but I, I, I like this. I, I like our starting deck here. Um, and we're going to have the Hellhorn Champion, who is a little... Uh, the Hellhorn Champion is a little tricky to work around, I'm not going to lie. We don't have a Consume card right now. I actually love the idea that when a Burnout unit dies, it does 5 damage to all enemies. And generally speaking, I like this champion. Uh, I don't like him as much as any other champion for any other Covenant in the game, or any other clan in the game. <laughs> but I do, uh, I do like this version of the champion. I think it does a decent job of keeping itself alive. Um, Whenever a burnout unit dies, deal five damage to enemy units. So you can see how strong that could be here. I'm just looking at this real quick and I'm like, okay. You will die. However, now you're gonna live. Are you screwed for your next turn or do you think you're okay? I think we should try to minimize the damage dealt to you. I really like what we've got going on here, believe it or not. Like, these guys all get hard countered by dregs. So if you'll hear me out here, this kills every enemy on this floor. Uh, this kills every enemy on this floor. And then we get the gold anyway. And then what else do you do? I don't know, man. I think having your train steward at the back here is okay. Like, these dregs are now insanely good. <laughs> They take a hit and also kill everything regardless. Although, to be fair, they're not going to kill everything here uh, because they're actually not going to die themselves. Um, let's get set up on our second floor. We should be fine. Got really nothing to worry about. So this, again, is a free kill, which you love to see. I kind of look at this as like, why don't you just summon a bunch of dregs? <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't think that would change things too much, but still, like, that's a lot of damage. That's an awful lot of damage. Now, this train steward, how you doing? I know what we should do is put this on our, uh, on our champion. So that's what I'm gonna do, even though it's gonna put them a little closer to death, but... They will not stand a chance here. This this is pretty good. I do, I'm, I'm starting to realize that... You know, I, I thought this relic was pretty good. I, but I also thought it was 5 damage to the front enemy unit only. 5 damage to all enemy units is kind of absurd. Call me crazy, I don't really think we need a vent. I think piercing is always nice. Uh, and then, I mean... I, I like it all. <laughs> uh, molded is great, but I actually think a draft with burnout 1... You can summon it for 20 damage on that turn, and also 5 damage to all enemy units, and it makes a great molded target. Um, I mean, if we could play Demon Fiend, I would, I would be in for it. I'm gonna take it and then hope we can make it cheaper. I know that's, uh, it's a bit of a, it's a hard sell, let's put it that way. And I'm actually gonna, we're, we're getting super wild here. I'm gonna invest in making it even stronger. As far as rage, I mean, this rage on you is going to be ridiculous. We might as well purge and, uh... I, I like everything but the train stewards. I think the torches are second to go. Um, but they, they were close to being first to go. I feel pretty solid right now. Obviously, uh... Not being able to cast our... Our demon fiend is pretty bad. We'll get there. It might take until our boss fight, but we'll get there. Um, so, I mean, right out of the gate. You just love a drag here. Um, I think you can try to get a Hornbreaker Prince set up. On the second floor. And again, like... I mean, I'm sure you don't need me to tell you this. The draft gets everything killed, so that's pretty good. Let's get maybe a train steward on the top. We don't really want to summon more dregs yet. I'd actually rather just draw them. 
Enemies that go wide stand no chance right now. And we do want this draft to come back. Because um, it does do a lot of damage. I'd like to maybe put something in front of it. <laughs> so they could live for a turn. Um, I mean, it's, it's a start, brother. It's a start. It's, it's better than a start. I mean, you do nothing. We do, we're doing 115 damage here? I, I'm stunned that you're not toasted already. But I'm also like, oh my god, look at this draft, dude. First off, it also takes a hit, so it's over. This draft is getting pogged out of his mind. We don't need holdover if we keep our deck thin enough to make this happen. I, I know what you're thinking. Pyre Chomper does give you the ability to play your Demon Fiend, but you have to draw it on the same turn. Or you could mold it back and then use it as a way to play your Demon Fiend. Which is a little scary, but also mighty interesting. And uh, I, I think that the second molded enables that to happen faster as well. So I think that both of those in conjunction work quite nicely. Let's maybe try to get a, a holdover molded. Cheaper branding right is really good. And then we'll reroll. It's not holdover. Armor 40 is really good, though. Like, really, really good. And let's make... I didn't realize, actually, now that I think about it, we probably do not need three moldeds. But we get cheap removal on one of our torches, which will make our deck a little bit more consistent. And let's just consider that an atonement. An apology for my mistake. Upgrade a unit with 20-20 and add purge. Or increase magic power by 20 and add purge. We're going to make a... A great train steward to get it out of our deck. And we're keeping it thin. That was one of our big problems uh, yesterday. Uh, we went way too heavy on adding cards. And then didn't get enough draw. And had actually a lot of kind of dead plays in the deck as well. For now I feel very good. Because um, this boss tends to go pretty wide. A lot of like cheap enemies. As you can see right here. So like literally just a single drag is like. Doesn't quite wipe them out. But it does very well. And then, what do you do with your torch? You really might as well cast it right there. You guys are doing fine. Um, revenge, you get rage. On slay, you get armor. I actually kind of like the train steward up at the front, so we get the armor trigger. And then you guys are dying. And I actually don't mind the dregs going down here. And we'll just summon our other two train stewards at the top. Um, we know what we're going to mold anyway. We're going we're, we're gonna to reform our, um, our energy imp. You're already dying. So I don't want to take away your slay trigger. Um, I think we like this. It's kind of a waste to do nothing with the draft. We put it here. It's just going to burn out and hit him for five, though. I guess you might as well put it at the back here. Yeah, you're going to do a lot of damage, honestly. And Why not? I honestly thought we might be in, like, brief respite territory already. So, step one is this guy's got to come out here at some point. We don't need it right now, but he's got to come out here at some point. And then, you're dying, you're taking a hit that nobody cares about. You're crushing it on this floor. And really, we just want our other draft to die as well. Might be better if it hit once. Didn't, didn't change anything at all, really. Um, I bet if we kill you, it will. Wrong. Just wrong. <laughs> That's alright, I'm not afraid of being wrong. I'm on the internet. Um... I think we like you. I mean, you're already dying, though. I gotta admit, this is pretty sick. Like, I'm having a wonderful time. If you guys are already dying, I don't know. Maybe. Well, no, that doesn't do anything at all. We would have been better off just using it on the boss. I'm just trying to see is there any way we can get this demon fiend out here? 
The answer is unbelievably yes. I'm not even sure it's worth it at all. Um, but it's not about being worth it. It's about being able to do it. The only place we can fit it is right here. And you're, oh my god, you're getting the kill. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, so we're taking energy. Capacity is an issue, but energy allows us to actually get this demon fiend out there. Let's think about this. Um, you're, you sap, right? You're a sapper? Yeah. I think Rage 7, because we have a multi-strike unit, is, is well worth it. Uh, <laughs> this is a very difficult choice. Cons Consumer of Crowns, we have enough imps to probably, especially with Molded, to make it workable. We only need two imps in play to make it playable for us, but... Where's the butt? You know what? Anytime you gotta think about it like that, I, I think it's worth doing. We want the energy. Um, we need to think about how our floors are gonna shake up, but just remember that our top floor last time was literally just train stewards. Oh my god. Let me pause this. You know what? I'll be back in one second. Okay, I'm back. I turned on cheat engine so I could win easily. Just kidding, unless. Um, when we click on the screen, it's going to take us to the right, but that's okay, because I want to go to the right anyway. Yeah. I think for removal... The train stewards, especially because for once we didn't go capacity early, the train stewards have no place in this deck anymore. <laughs> it's interesting, huh? Our champion getting multi-strike makes him a 30-15. I think the multi-strike makes it so much more likely he hits his slay trigger that it's actually going to make him that much stronger as well. Dude, I don't know. This draft is, like, out of control. And we can't... We can really just add HP to something. Why not? You know, it makes him better in Relentless. So I think we're good to go here. It is going to be hard to get the imp out there, but the on the bright side... I think this is okay. I mean, our Pyre is at full HP. I think we go for it. Um, on the bright side, we have uh, the energy required to actually cast our Demon Fiend for once. So we don't have to worry about that as much. Um, so, just hold on. Okay, I'm thinking. Sweetheart, you come out here. I think you come out here as well. And now you're actually playable. I don't believe it. So, why don't you do me a favor and go up there. It would have been nice to get the draft out as well. But it's not bad. It's not bad. And now we've got that unit out there, so we really don't have to sweat it too much. Now, I would love to be able to cast this Demon Fiend. He only fits on the top floor. I think it's good to get him out there. The only problem is we let 75 gold slip through our fingers. The question, really, is do we care? I think the answer is sort of no. What else are we fishing for here? We don't really have any other units. <laughs> Alright, but let's... Here's the thing. I want the gold. All y'all who have seen the Leprechaun say yeah. You gotta go with this. Although, actually, now that I think about it, if I put a drag out here... You'll get the kill. And without, but the encant doesn't really matter. So I think we do do it this way. Then we have the drag take a hit for our champion instead. We put you slightly closer to death. I do want the demon fiend out there. But on a literal level, we can wait. Okay, so just you taking a hit. Saves us here and also means you die. Great news. Um... We don't really need the Pyre Chomper anymore. I think the dregs are strictly better. You're protecting us and doing a lot of damage. That's actually doing less damage to the units at the back. But I understand why. We gotta get the Demon Fiend out. Ideally as soon as possible so that our top floor is not uh, busted up. I think this is like a 
Oh, we don't have a draft to bring out there, now that I think about it. You're not dying? <laughs> I'm stunned. Hold on. What about this? I think we give our champ the armor. I think we also give our champ Dark Deal. I know we're hitting the encant here, but it, this changes the game for us in a big way. Um, but you guys are gonna... You're gonna make it up. You're gonna do some damage to my pyre. I'm not happy with it, but I accept it. Just waiting on this demon fiend. Just waiting on this demon fiend. Well, let's look at Molded real quick. I think our, our super drag is still the play. You're taking five. Now you're dead. I kind of just have to let you go. You're gonna die. He's gonna die in one hit to the pyre anyway, so. Although I think it sucks, you just sort of accept that this one is what it is. In the future, I think we uh, play the Demon Fiend faster so this doesn't happen. That seems smarter. Now, this time, what do you do? I hate to say it, but I think, again, you learn your lesson. You play the Demon Fiend. 13 seconds. So you're hitting. You're only going to live to attack twice. I think, actually, we give it to you. We wouldn't have had to do this if we didn't care so much about the gold earlier. So I, I accept my own role in my, in my idiocy here. Um, you only get to attack one... Well, they, we don't give it to you. That's just a gimme. Um, you might die on this floor regardless. How much, we only have one capacity... This unit's actually getting pretty strong. You're now dying. Okay. So it turns out, after all that, we didn't even need the Demon Fiend. Which is reassuring. But also, in the future, cast that Demon Fiend. Because it's scary. So I'm happy to have the trial. Um, I really don't think we need Pyre Chopper. I don't think we need two of them. If anything, we have a, a few too many kind of trash units um, in the deck. I do think that... The problem is that killing a random friendly unit is great uh, if we don't have a friendly unit out there or if we can choose what unit it is. The problem is that, you know, if it kills something we enjoy or that it's been buffed, it's really bad. I know you can cast it before you cast a unit and get a, an, a, like a card for an enemy trade. The downside is just like, we don't, ha we don't spend that much time with empty floors. Except for that one where our top floor was empty literally the whole time. But that's an aberration. This is a really tough choice, actually. Um, for what we could do. I, a free relic is always nice. But like a duplicate doesn't matter. I'm, I'm fairly tempted, honestly, to just come here. And, uh, and then say, like, you know what? Get rid of some of these like basic torches. And our deck now only has 22 cards, which is really consistent. That's a consistent deck. Consumer of Crowns being quick. It's not quite as good as Multi-Strike, so I, I feel like it's worth fishing. I'm willing, to sp I'm willing to spend on this. Large Stone instead. It makes it very tough uh, to play anything with you. But... We got enough... Actually, we got so many one-cost units. In fact, all of our other units except our Champion and the Demon Fiend are one-cost. So, I think it's actually completely fine. And, uh... Nobody else really needs anything. You having Rage 7 is... It's worth something, but is it worth as much as... You know, cutting two of these from our deck? And having an insanely fast... Well, it literally didn't change at all, so sure, why not? Let's make one super dreg, and then... I've got rage dreg, can you milk me? I think this time... I think we say no. The artifact is nice, and spikes aren't that bad, because we got heavy units. Um, 
But the, I, the sweep unit scared me enough to not want to do it, honestly. So you're going to do 4-7. Obviously, we're not going to slay you. Um, but we, we have to play Demon Fiend. We've learned a valuable lesson here. I think Demon Fiend does fine on the second floor. We can always play our Imp Lord on the top. Uh, and then we just put a Dreg at the front. That will actually live through the first hit here. And protect our champion except for the, uh, the, the sweep. But that is what it is. You're dying in this one. You're dying. You're not dying. But we can kill you very easily. Nobody's died yet, so the Consumer of Crowns can't be played. But nobody's making it up yet. <laughs> nobody's making any progress, so I'm not sweating it. I think you, you've got to go. And then I think we actually want our champion to get the Rage. So that his he gets a little closer to the slay trigger. Um, I actually also think we want to give our champion the armor. I think it's more pressing that our champion gets the armor. So on this floor, we are getting a slay trigger. Our draft is going to do 40 damage. Still pretty... I was just going to say, and then the... the I mean, you know what I'm going to say there. The um, fact that it's a extinguished unit, a burnout unit, means you're going to take an extra 5. This should kill you then. Um, I think you just pop a drag up here just to take the hit. And then really, I'd still rather consume this just to get it out of our deck. We've got an insanely great setup. And I'll, I'll tell you, I think we like the idea now because we're getting back around to the top of our deck. We want an imp out there, but we kind of want him to live temporarily. <laughs> Not for long, but... So I, I think like putting you out there so Consumer of Crowns maybe can find uh, some common ground here is, is sensible. Um, and you guys are all dying, which is lovely. And I, I think you basically repeat the same thing. We'd rather you have Rage. This one's not really worth much. So we got two Imps out there. Just looking at it. Just studying it. It just being in our deck is worth something. We could also put it down. I think that works okay down there. And we'll put a Pyre Chomper up here just to be able to put our Consumer of Crowns up one floor. We still have the capacity up there. Consumer of Crowns is very playable now and doing just fine. And you guys are also doing okay. Yeah, we'll do this. You're taking six now. You, it's not going to be relevant, let me tell you that much. It is not going to be relevant. You have sweep, so it doesn't really matter where we place you. It's just kind of like a raw damage play. And you're actually not doing anything. Never mind, you're doing five more damage because you're an extinguished unit. <laughs> All right. It went completely fine. Um, and you're dead. We killed you with a buff. You just got hit by a Daewoo Lanos. This is not what we want, though. we That's not the kind of run we're building. And I actually feel like we don't need this here. Um, and I'm happy to take nothing. Stealth 2 is always good. I, I've never encountered a situation... Like, the only situation in which you don't like stealth is like, Oh, I was gonna live anyway. In which case, what do you care that you played stealth? Dummy. I could easily go overboard on removal, because I do think that we probably don't need so many drags. However, I think this deck is very nice. Let's get some cash. Let's see what's going on in these concealed caves. I don't like any of these, um, basically at all. I just, I, I really don't like them. Yeah. Sure, we could get plus 4 damage for every Blight card in our deck, or for 20 gold, we could just add plus 10 damage to a unit in the future. I think all of those are bad. Maybe on a higher level Ascensions... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Covenant ranks. Um, they get a little bit trickier, but for now, not, not sweating it. We really do not wish to remove Consume. Um, I think you start with a reroll, believe it or not, unless there's maybe... Nope, I don't think so. Let's start with the reroll. 
permafrost. Probably works best on the stealth. And let's make horn break free. We spend a lot on that shop, I'm, I'm not gonna deny that, but... Oh my god, at 25 minutes we're fighting boss 2 already. Oh, you add trash to our deck. That's honestly probably the worst one that it could have been for us right now, because our deck is so thin, but I still feel pretty solid. It just... Another problem is we really want to get, like, Consumer of Crowns out there as soon as possible. So I think your number one full stop concern in every situation, Demon Fiend has to get out there. Even though it's going to cost us 5 Pyre damage, this is really nice. Um, because you're actually going to kill this, and then you're going to be able to kill these guys if they had lived. But they're not going to. Um, so yeah, we'll take the damage. It is what it is. So we need our Consumer of Crowns out there as soon as possible. It's not going to happen here. We'll live with it. Life goes on. Um, you're only getting hit for two? <laughs> Alright, here's here's a weird one. Stop putting garbage in my deck, you jerk. You did it again. When will you learn that your actions have consequences? So this is very nice. How much damage? You do do enough damage. I still think this is very nice. You guys are all... Everybody's dying. Great news. Let's put you up at the front then, so our champion doesn't take damage. Let's get rid of this, because I hate it. And, uh... Honestly, I would now look at this and probably say, let's let's summon some imps. Un-imp, really. So Consumer of Crowns is a little closer to play. And I think that you can certainly get away with a second one. Um, we definitely want you to have the armor for now. Um, and Molded does insanely well on these on this draft right here. And then I think you also is very wild. I think it's too wild. I think you do this. You finally stealth them. And we could kill this guy to kill you. The only question is, I don't know if you add the card to our deck. I'm not willing to risk it. Like, I don't know when quote-unquote combat ends. So what resolves first? The card being added or the burnout? I think burnout resolves first, but it's definitely a situation where we didn't have to question it. Um, so here really don't mind just getting this out here so we can do this. Um, the very strong drag. I don't know, we can put this drag up here and still summon Consumer of Crowns. We really do want Consumer of Crowns out there. I'm not sure if it's gonna matter, but it's, it's like the principle of the thing. Okay, so... Bring back Energy Imp. Great name. Energy Imp is going to take this hit. Consumer of Crowns now can fit on the top. I think you can... Can really dark deal anything. We're going to use it on our champion. Because again, the Slay Trigger is worth a lot for us. Please get this garbage out of my deck. I do not wish to experience it. Highly annoying. You're not taking any damage this turn. But, oh, the extra rage, dude. Oh, that extra rage is something. We gotta be careful. Don't kill your unit with this. Obviously. 15. Oh, you're, you're gonna get in there. Dude, these drafts are getting out of control. I feel like when I say draft, I'm trying to say giraffe, but saying it wrong. We can do this, we just can't do this. So we like that. And then if we stealth you... I'm surprised you're not dying. You're, you're dying to burnout, so actually the only play that makes sense here is that. Um, and then we'll hit you for five. You're not gonna make it through Demon Fiends. 
which means that consumer of crowns was not relevant, but it's the principle of the matter, you know? So you want to see a cool play? That doesn't work. <laughs> he has way more than 5 HP. All right. Um, so call me crazy on this one. We normally do not do this. This helps me out a lot in this regard as well. We normally do not do this, but I think we actually go 5 energy on this one. Capacity is not a problem. We only have 3 big units, and then every other unit costs 1. Uh, so we do... We have no space on any of our big units for anything, so there's not much reason to take the Merchant of Steel. Instead, I think you come this way and you look to remove Consume. Let me leave for a second here. Uh, in terms of removal... We really... We probably don't need so many drags. Mostly these end up being uh, wasted kind of like... We, do, we only see them when Molded has to choose something. Um, I think Trap Shoot maybe is better here. Mostly because I think we got a great chance at winning. Uh, so to make this gold would hit all the right parts of my brain. I think we fish really hard for Remove Consume. Oh my lord. Now, we do need to lower its cost. But remember, with Molded, we can still make this... We can bring back the Energy Imp and use the Energy Imp to cast the Multi-Strike, and then you get the idea. So do we want more Multi-Strike and more starting armor, or get more armor and more Rage? It's a tougher choice than you might think, because it's 50-25 versus 45-15, but the three Multi-Strikes synergizes much better with Rage, but I'll be honest, I think we want the higher level base HP so we can target it with the Rage Enablers more often. No! <laughs> I don't- I'm never turning this on outside of Hellrush ever again, I think. Um, so you know the methodology. If our champion would live, which they will, we'd love to play them. Would you give every- you give the units multi-strike? We know we want you down here. You have to get casted. 60 times 2. I think in order to slow you guys down... Well, this doesn't... That just puts more armor. Okay, well, more armor we'll put on our champion. I'm really glad we didn't start with units on every floor. Let's put it that way. Um... Descend a unit to the bottom floor. There's some heat here. I gotta think this one through, and this is... This is dangerous. So I think you are a tank. So enjoy being at the bottom, because nobody cares. And then... We still can't get the Consumer of Crowns out there yet, but we can... You're giving the units multi-strike. Man, it would be like real sick if you died. So this, this will save our Pyre a lot. Um, and then I think we're just gonna do this and this. Us taking... Um, no champion damage on this turn is worth something. And then we got, you know, basically, I think this is obvious, but like, who cares? Who cares about this guy at the back doing nothing? He's just a tank with no place to be anymore. Um, so we love summoning the King of the Imps, the Energy Imp, and then giving you... Oh, but dude, you could get so many triggers in the future if you... Ooh, but I think it's got to go on you because you're doing so much damage. But it pains me a great deal. I'm not going to deny the pain that it makes me feel there. Um, you're going to die in one hit. I can't really, you know, I can't change things too much on that one. 
I can hit you for 27, but effectively that does nothing, so who cares? What I can do, though... I can at least stop our... Oh, our champion was gonna get a slay trigger on that guy, dude! I don't, why, why do we care about you? Alright, it, 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 we're in a great spot. It might seem a little funky, but... It really is a great spot. So we love Draft, but Draft hasn't gotten a chance to get out there yet. It's a weird one. I think we do put you out here, because we want you guys to take most of the hits. We get you out here. And we get you out here. <laughs> or do I? Yeah, yeah, why not? Alright. I can't believe- oh, because this support unit is now living. That's funny. What about this, though? What about this? Oh, that's big. All right. So the next big step... We need you to have more armor. Our draft is going to burn out in a single turn. Uh, call me call me crazy on this one. Are we due to... We are due to draw Consumer of Crowns. I really doubt it'll matter at all. But I think that... Having two imps out here... This is not going to do too much for us, but... Oh, and you're going to burn out, but that's... It is what it is. Let's put it that way. We, we did get Consumer of Crowns, and we do have Molded. So you mold your Energy Imp, and that's going to give you enough. The Trample is the real problem here. So you do look at it, and you're like, what's worth more? Consumer of Crowns or one extra hit here? It's got to be Consumer of Crowns. In my world, that's Consumer of Crowns. No matter what... I think we're gonna hit you with some stealth. And... Just one of those. I don't know how much that's gonna affect things, but... You're taking 360, which is pretty good. You're taking a lot less now, because I'm a fool. Um, you're Even this is not that strong, I don't know. 379? Never mind. It's pretty strong. Um, this guy's pogging up, too, now that I think about it. Probably like it if you take more hits for this guy. Yeah, alright. So, again, our Consumer of Crowns has never been relevant. And yet, we go through so many hoops to try to get him out there, but... There's definitely, like, real... There's real stuff happening on this run. Double armor on a unit is starting to make me think. I think we can afford to put that in here. Everything else, I, I don't buy. This is a 22-card deck of the, my dreams. Now, we want spells. Yeah, I don't mind this. We want to make... Dazed 4? No, no, no. Rage 14? I don't know, dude. I think I'm a Stealth 4 guy. I think Stealth 4 is the way to go there. And I really want Reinforce to be cheaper. It doesn't have to be zero, but just cheaper. And this leaves us in a good spot. For removal, I stand by our dregs no longer being that useful. I, I know they do five damage. I know I haven't collected my rewards. I think we got every chance. Sap three is not that bad. It's pretty bad on our champion. It's not that bad on our other units. And w let me, I'll say it, okay? What a deck. What a deck we got here. So we can't still get you out. Go down to four, you'll cost seven. Can't get you out, that's fine. Um, you're gonna make it up and do 12 damage. Wah, wah. Not a big deal. You're hurting me more, honestly. In fact, I wish I had some dregs, but we want you to be here and not die. So we'll do this. We'll also give you that armor so you take zero. Gonna put you out there. I, I don't know. I put you out there just in case we drew Consumer of Crowns next turn. Seems pretty unlikely considering you're uh, in my hand, but what do I know? Uh, so, okay, we definitely want... This is non-negotiable. You play this as soon as it comes out. You guys are still doing fine. We got nothing to worry. Uh, you're gonna do uh, just a ridiculous amount of damage next turn. But uh, next turn... Next turn is next turn. I'm not worried about next turn yet. 
Let's just make sure you don't make it up. Even with the encant, you're not making it there. Never mind. You get 10 armor? I don't get you get 15. That's where I was messed up here. So you're in just a terrible spot. As we can all see. Um, you, you still have stealth, which is amazing. Um, you need to have your armor doubled. And then I also think you need to have some rage given to you. And then... Trying to figure out how to keep you alive, dummy. I think bringing one of you down... <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright, now you take no damage, and actually all these guys die. So the descend may have not even been worth it. But uh, that, that changed the game in a huge way. Okay. You're still suffering, don't get me wrong. And you still got stealth, which is amazing here. Um, so we definitely do want to play this. I think we'll be able to, honestly. Um, nobody's living here. You might as well summon the draft so you can bring it back in the future. This changes everything. You making it, I don't care. I really, I really just don't care. Um, so obviously we can't play this anymore, but it is what it is. You leaving is fine. You're doing 20 damage. That's good damage. Dude, this relic is so unbelievably good. I would like to stop multiple units from making it to the pyre every single time. Are you the energy pyre chomper? You are the energy imp, right? What are our two consumed units? Draft and fledgling imp. So we can definitely get... I think it's the play. Excuse me. I think it's the play. You come out here. You're already dying to burnout units, but still. Let's protect our champion a little bit. You're now playable. You're going to do some damage to the unit at the back now, which is insanely useful. Our pyre is taking hits, but hey, you know what they like to say. Health is a resource. And the world is a vampire. Boom, 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 boom. Uh... We got plays. Don't don't sweat that. So they're easy molded, I think, is you keep bringing this guy back so when you need him, he's as strong as possible. Now we're only taking 10, which is not really a big deal. You're taking a little bit more, which is a much bigger problem. I really think we'd like you to have armor. And then, uh... I mean, this dreg is real strong. feel like you'd do well on this floor. Help us out at least a little bit. Kill you to protect our pyre a little bit. And then on this floor, we don't mind so much. So we'll put stealth on our units. I feel like we're totally okay right now. It's just... It's closer than any fight we've had. For a long time. So ideally, you would die. But you are only doing 10 damage. On the other hand, the existence of a draft, were it not for the fact that they're stunned, would guarantee your removal. <laughs> um, go here. And then we just go imp into imp. You are getting 55 more HP. I can't tell you how much that sucks, but so be it. As far as armor goes, I don't think our champion of uh, crowns needs it, consumer of crowns. I think having more on the demon fiend is worth it. That's true, we have not yet stopped the bleeding, but the bleeding has slowed. You're taking 327, which is pretty good. Okay, so you're dead. You're not dead, but you'll die on the next floor. 
This is a floor of some importance. I think we abandon this floor and uh, quite simply focus on keeping these guys alive as long as possible. So you get more rage and then also get another multi-strike and then we're gonna stealth you as well. So we're gonna make a big stand in the middle and if we need to do some cleanup, hopefully we can do some cleanup at the top. You're taking 800, which is not even close to enough but I ain't sweating it yet. If we can only bring back one unit, it should really be our champion. Oh, they're gonna burn out one though. So let's bring back you instead of burn out four. Because then we can at least put an imp down as well. Now you're taking A69, which admittedly doesn't move things too much. I think two more turns of stealth does better for us than the tome. But you might as well bring back one unit first, and it would be you. Now, time will tell if this was correct. Oh, baby. The, mo the thing I'm most excited about on this run is that we spent so much time trying to make Collector of Crowns work, and I think the dude literally attacked like two times. <laughs> we got it done. We've been on a pretty good run lately, with a couple of exceptions. We also only had three relics on that entire run, which is hilarious, but we, we got it working, dude. That's, that's an exciting one. Let me see how we did here. We get 15, uh, the Covenant rank 15 is under control. Merchant purges are more expensive. Two golden cards. Sorry, Mathis. No offense. And, uh, whoa, baby! Soul possession of second place. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. You watched all 47 minutes of it. Click the like button. It helps me out. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!